What's up, Pyromaniacs? Pastas is here. We are taking a look today at a game called Dreadlands. I know very little about this other than it's early access and kind of a turn-based tactical shooter type deal with action points where you kind of uh, do what you want to do. Glow. Everything's about glow around these parts. No one's sure about the hows and the whys, but the stuff only blooms here in the Dreadlands. Nowhere else. It's quite something, that glow. The stuff won't just fuel your long hauler forever. It'll also do hundreds of other crazy things. Crazy good things. <laughs> Some say it's even shaped the lay of the land, and I won't hold it against them. The dreadlands don't look like anything else. A goddamn mess, that's what it is. And it ain't just the land. The end of among the gangs. Dying in droves for a chunk of glow is a bit of a mess, too. And unlike some of the land, not a pretty one. <clears throat> now, there's a particular gang I want to tell you about. From humble beginnings, they struggled, suffered, and fought their way up to leave a lasting mark on the dreadlands. But first, they had to find themselves a new home. See, the Dreadlands is no place for wandering vagabonds lacking decent shelter. It'll catch you in the open and chew you up in one fell swoop. Sometimes, the land itself seems to take issue with your well-being. <laughs> That's fucked up. Until you choke from poison air, drown in quicksilt, or beast life feasts on your bones. But as always, the most dangerous predator is human. The gangs of the Dreadlands. And it looks like our new friends are just about to stumble into one of them. Fun, fun. Okay, so right now there's only two different factions, the Tribekin and the Scrappers. Later on, the Scarbacks will be added. Um, it looks like the Tribekin might be melee focused. Uh, nature worshiping tribe can use their enigmatic powers to command ferocious beasts and deploy mystical totems on the battlefield. Tribe can hunters are known for the mastery of long range sniping. I was staying corrected. Extremely territorial and aggressive. Do not mistake the fierce tribe can for some harmless tree huggers. Okay. So PETA with teeth. Uh, scrappers. The high plane scrappers are hot tempered bunch of junk tinkerers renowned for being able to turn any pile of scrap into a lethal weapon. They fight by utilizing their extraordinary engineer skills using a combination of mines, poisons, and other ingenious contraptions. Well, these guys intrigue me for long range sniping because I, I'm always a big fan of, uh, you know, if you kill your enemy at 300 yards, then you don't really have to worry about anything else. So we're going to start with Tribekin. That's a very creepy sound. Uh, so my understanding is you go through a tutorial on your, kind of your tribe, or well, your gang, and then you go into the campaign. There's been no time to ponder how, why, or even when. No time to rest or regroup. Only the way forward was clear. All or nothing. Do or die. Ride or die, homies. And absolutely no turning back. Okay, Welcome I didn't get to finish. Loot. More loot keeps wandering in like lambs to the slaughter. Okay, Boyd. Hey, you don't be shy. Come step a little closer. Right. Right. <laughs> I'll step closer, all right, boot you in your face and kick your corpse kind of close. Those are some sick-looking talons there. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you deserve it. Okay. A fighter starts every turn with two action points. Most actions cost one point. Right? It costs two AP to run. Move outside the white area or charge, so basically like XCOM. All right. Moving at, or charge, moving, attacking with a weapon. Okay, so I'm going to go right here. Okay, and can we shoot this motherfucker? So 60% chance, I kind of like those odds, so why not? And we missed. All right, so it's going to be exactly like XCOM for me. All right, switching to the other fighter. This is a giant fuck-off grizzly bear. Okay. Um, so my concern is there are three of them. If I move to here, they're going to flank me and tear this poor bear up. I think moving to here is probably my best option. 
Or, well, I guess I could move to the far flank over here and then come around on them that way. Let's do that. Okay. Your turn, enemy. Oh, yeah, they're setting up on that bear big time. Oof. When a fighter is hit by a rage attack, it becomes pinned and will then start next turn with only one action point. Makes sense. So, did that mean this guy was pinned? Jesus! So both these guys have one action point left. Holy fuck, dude, they're gonna kill the bear! Yeah, bear's dead. He's gonna bleed to death next turn, most likely. Uh, low cover provides moderate defense to range attacks. Full cover provides excellent. Right, gotcha. Stay in cover whenever possible becomes harder to hit and avoid getting flanked hit by... Yep, gotcha. All right. You. Uh, is there... No, no, no. I want to target my buddy. I thought it was... Oh, it's not tab. It's space. Um, so he's got no way to heal, does he? And he's only got one move. This is full cover, so we're going to move him back to full cover. I say he's going to limp back to full cover. Okay, switch. Now this dude... Overwatch, aim, switch weapon, and reload. Okay, we have three shots left. So, he is fucking flanked, is he not? He should be flanked, in my opinion. Aiming gives the fighter 20% hit chance the next shot bust. The burst weapons cannot aim, but that costs me one action point. Or I can just shoot this guy twice. When a uh, fighter's HP is zero, it is down, they can't perform normal actions. Okay, so he is down. Down fighters can be revived by using bandage or by certain gang tactics. A down fighter will go out of actions, remove from battle after three turns. Fair enough. Uh, okay. I don't think you can. Yeah, he's out of sight. That one's out of sight. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go into Overwatch. And then that's it. In turn. And he's going to bleed to death. All right, poor bear. Whenever you perform positive actions, flanking, hitting, executing, you your bar moves towards the opponent's side. Negative actions, missing attacks, pushes it towards your side. Okay. As long as the gang leader is still in the fight, the gang's morale bar will restore by a small. Okay. Whenever the bar pushes beyond the mark line on the team's bar, they will become broken. This inflicts. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, dude, you are fucking nuts. I don't understand why I didn't take a shot on that guy either. I mean, he's fucking bleeding out. Leave him alone, dude. You fucking dick. Um. Yeah, I got that part. Especially melee weapon. Okay, I don't want to do melee to charge any melee weapon. Yeah, I don't want to charge anybody right now. Uh, he's a thirty percent hit, but if I move to here, I am not fucking going to melee. You can fucking eat a dick, sir. How do I have a 30% chance when he's fucking flanked? <sighs> but he's flanked! Do I have to like move here to flank this fuck? Oh man. I don't understand. Okay, so I, I have to go into Overwatch again. What are you doing? Killing my fucking bear? You did. And how did I not. Again, how did I not take a shot at that guy? I guess is my real concern. That's alright. I'll figure it out. All right, so I have an 80% chance on this guy. After playing two successful tans, a f uh, attacks of fighter becomes inspired. Their health bar will burn. The next successful attack... Oh, I like it. All right, so drop this motherfucker. I look like it hurt, dude. What about him? I don't think I can hit him. Might as well... Is that dude down? Uh... 
So I guess he is downed, although it doesn't look like his HP is at zero. But okay. Uh, choose one action point. It will not let me go into... What the fuck? I shot him once. I have one action point. Am confused. And he's able to move. Okay, so now he's unpinned and down. Okay, he's fucking dead. Killed my fucking bear. Okay, moving to here. Is this guy... Oh, I gotta reload! Oh, okay. That makes more sense. That's fine. Once engaged in melee, fires melee locked in the fire, chooses to move out of melee, the enemy will get a free attack. While melee locked, the fighter can neither use nor be targeted by ranged weapons. Okay. Interesting. So we'll switch to melee and uh, fuck his ass up. And finish him off. Yeah, I want to execute him. Take all. Interesting. Prisoner's call for attention. It would be wise to hear him out. After all, the enemy of your enemy could very well be your friend. Fair enough. All right, so let's go talk to Mr. Captain. I lose my bear, though, which is kind of sad. I didn't realize how the game worked. Thanks to time for the assist, friend. Should have given this place a wide berth. You know about this place? It's got a hideout feel. The rot-blooded bastards you just trashed, their gang, their hideout. Shouldn't be left of them now. Shouldn't be left of them now, though. I think what they mean is shouldn't be much left of them now, as in they're mostly dead. Sounds like an opportunity. It'd be an honor to tag along if you're gunning for it. Alright, so we lost a friend, a giant fuck-off bear, and we picked some dude who's already gotten his ass captured once, so that doesn't seem like a very fair trade to me, but it is what it is. Alright. Root down. Without a proper hideout, the dreadlines will consume you one way or another. Sooner or later, rooting down in a decent hideout is crucial to long-term survival of who considers, uh, for all who consider giving life in the deadlands a shot. Okay, mm -hmm. this is it. Go. Uh, mm -hmm. Fact, we've got incoming. Okay, keep or oh, there's cards. Okay. Click to replace a card. Next range attack will jam the, the weapons of an enemy. Pen from all I... Dude, this is all awesome stuff. I'm fine with this. Those are badass fucking overpowered as fuck cards. My bear's back! Nice! Okay, so where are the bad... Okay, I see him now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put him... On Overwatch, uh, the bear we're gonna move to over here, so he can watch our left flank. What about you? What do you got, Brohim? Put you in full cover here. I'll put you on Overwatch too. Okay. So we got one dude trying to get around the far left flank here. We have a 30% chance on him. No chance on him. Uh, is that full cover? It is, but I think we're going to just hold here for the moment. Because the bear doesn't have the ability to move as far as I'd like him to. Uh, what about you? You have a 20% chance? Oh, we're just going to go... No, 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 no. Wait. So that puts you up to 40%, but I can't do... Okay, I can't do Overwatch. Yeah. All right. You... I'll do... Because you got a 30% chance, would that be 50% overwatch? Okay. And then you... Is there like a hunker down option? Does not look like it. We'll let them continue to kind of move into us. Oof. 
I don't think I get hurt. So one of them did move around the left side over here, so that's gonna work for us. That dude's downed. That guy is way the fuck out there. He's gonna have cover on this. Pretty sure that we can move up to this guy and maul his ass. That's gonna melee chain that guy, which means he won't be able to do shit. So yeah, let's move there. And uh, fucking eat him. That'll work. I like that. Okay, he's out of abilities now. So now that he's out of AP, I've got to back him up. I can't let these other dickbags kind of fuck with him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy here, which is going to kind of give me control of this area here, hopefully. And then I'm going to leave this guy on overwatch. That way, if this dude tries to outflank him, we can engage. So I'll put him on overwatch. We have three shots left. There we go. And now you can see the... Overwatch here works a little bit different than it does in uh, what looks like, uh, what's that game with the aliens that I can't remember the name of right now. Jesus Christ. Oh my lord. It's, it's early guys. I've only had 16 ounces of caffeine this morning. Um, <laughs> anyways, that other game that everybody can think of right now but me, uh, your Overwatch has a much wider range. With this you can see the eyeballs. That seems to be our limits of our overwatch ability i didn't realize there were two more uh oh bears gonna get some get some shit here maybe no okay so we're gonna flip back to him i need to get him out of here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just move him well let's see actually we'll come back to him you have a 30 percent shot 50 percent shot on this guy uh, what if we aim that up? 70% shot, take it. Ooh. Dude, the shots in this game are fucking brutal, man. So I did use both of his AP points. So with this guy, we have the option of, I guess, going into melee if we want, which we do. So I'm going to come around here and melee chain this guy. And then, uh, are we in melee or? Yeah, we are. All right, let's fuck him up. He's done. That should be game. Yep. Good going. The hideout is yours. The taking. Congratulations. Nice. I kind of like this. I've action. Yeah, we got that much. So now I get to loot all their stuff. Take all. That's kind of cool. Take all. I like how the bear can loot. All right, so let's come over here and light this fire, I guess. All right, after capturing a hideout, you secure the premises and send word to the rest of your gang. You finally establish the base of operations in Dreadlands. Celebration continues for days. All right, so new tactics card added. The new tactics cards are the contents patch. They've been added to your tactic deck. If you want to try them, you need to add them to your tactics hand. You can do this at your tactics table in your hideout. For two turns, Bleeding Toxic will now heal the target instead, while any healing will harm them. Oof. Oof. Deploys a scrap prison around a fighter. The fighter becomes immune to damage, but can't act for one turn. I prefer this one. Okay. In the barracks, you can inspect your fighters in their inventory, as well as switch their gear. Recruit new fighters to your gang at the bar with credits. Okay. So this is the barracks. Uh... Do we have all of these guys right now, or just some of them? So what, what is his weapon at the moment? He has a scrap gun. Quintessential low-tech firearm. Bang, bang, jam. Well, at least first two things are bang. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, okay. He's got some bandies. All right. So he's level one. There are some perks and stuff down there, it looks like. Interesting. We have the Meta Center. Does anybody need a heal or is everybody good? Treat units, injuries, or create healing items. Okay, medical supplies, sick beds. I don't think we've got anybody really hurt, do we? Cub Snub? Can I change their names? Oh, yeah. Oh, we can name them. We can name them. All right, so so next, if, if we if we keep going with this... I'm gonna have to name. No, 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 no. Cancel. Hold on. I don't want to have Cub Snub two seven two seven two seven. If we keep going with this, then I'm gonna have to. Uh, 
name him after you guys. Gets me you fucking killed. All right, workshop. So repair. So weapons have damage. That's a hunting rifle. Damage three. Crit damage plus two. Interesting. So I don't have the ability to upgrade it yet. But I'm assuming that's something that'll be added later on. Where was the bar? I didn't see the bar. I guess that's up here. All right, let's go talk to uh, Leafhound. See what he wants. Okay. Here you stalwart kin. By the wisdom of the All-Mother, I've been gifted the inspiration of an exalted endeavor. If you have our attention, Leafhound. You may have heard of an archdruid envoy traveling nearby lands visiting tribe Kendans. I'm pleased to confirm this is true. Couldn't believe it. So many seasons since an envoy last grace these parts. Indeed. So by the All-Mother, you must venture out and find this envoy. Offer my sincere regards. And do everything in your power to encourage a sanctioned envoy visitation. The envoy known as Moontooth is heading for Dryred's Reach. Arrest. <laughs> yes, a visitation could send our rivals into a fit of frothing envy. You've always been in tune, Oak Fist Brawlers. Strive and thrive. Okay. As you find the Moontooth Archer and envoy traveling by lands, envoys are rare and near mythical entities <laughs> serving the eyes and ears capable of the Archer Council. Travel Dryad's Rest and commence Moontooth. Okay. So, we go to the world map. This world map explore the world to find traders, settlements, and more. Missions that offer scrap credit and other forms of rewards can be found all over the map. Mission difficulty is rated by mission level and the amount of enemies at the location. Okay, so we have pressed him to show the world map. I thought we were at the world map. Okay. So I, I can't exactly move, right? Oh, I have to physically move. All right, so let's, let's check out this filth hidden layer. Beast Grizzlies are never any plague. Some are mutated, some are toxic, all of them dangerous. Defeat them all or send them off lane. Okay, let's do it. First weapons can use aim, but have 25% chance to hit and miss attacks. Deadlines are home numerous beasts and critters. Some mutated, some toxic, all deadly. Defeat them all or make them flee. Oakfist Brawlers versus Snarl Tooths. Okay. Um. I don't understand which... Oh, okay, so I get to pick one. So, Cub Snub... Wait, I'm confused. So, which ones are the one I'm taking? Is this... Am I taking one, two, three, four, five? All five of these guys? I think so. If that's the case, looks like only two, three, versus five. Wow, okay. All right, so, um, One of the wool. Whoops! No, no, no! I want him here. Actually, I want him here. And then we'll keep one of the wolves over here with him. Except I want you in here. There we go. All right. So we get first term. All right. So that's half. That's half cover. Half cover better than no cover. So go there and do Overwatch. I don't like how I don't have Overwatch here, but that's fine. Okay, Bear, I'm gonna put you here and under full cover. Seeing so Seer on this corner for us. You, put here. Put you in Overwatch. Cause they're like way on the other side of the fucking map. What is this? Run 
run him up to here. And you. Uh, I kind of want to cover him, so I'm going to move him to here. I think that gives him angle, but I'm not sure. Alright, how fast are these fuckers? Oof. Pretty quick. Are you? Can you loot this? Nothing. Okay. So we got him there. Take all. Um. Aren't the other two? Yeah, the other two are really close to a barrel. Um. Yeah, there's no way he's going to hit that shot. That's a full cover. Move up. Okay. I want to move this guy. Oh, shit. We'll put him here. Because I think the fight's actually going to go down over here to the left. All right, bear. I'm going to put you here. And sniper, I need you here. All right. That's a good spot. These guys are gonna move into us. Oof. It's all right. You should be able to. Wait, wait. You can't fucking shoot him. Are you telling me what? Oh, that's fucking sick. Okay. So once something's melee locked, it's melee locked for everybody. Okay, he's down. <sighs> Nothing I can do about him. I have 20% to 40%. Uh, let's do an aim and engage that guy. Didn't expect that one to hit, but I was kind of hoping. You? I have no idea what to do with you. See, if I put this guy in... See, I, I can't hit him, can't hit him. I can put this guy in Overwatch. Which literally covers everything. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Alright, in turn. So this guy comes around, he's gonna get blasted by this dude. Yep. Of course, you, you fucking take the shot. Holy shit, dude. Okay. Did not expect that, are you? Switch to melee, which is axe, right? Yep. Get up here and fucking axe murder this guy. Okay, bear. Bear. Murder. And then bear. Murder. And you finish him off. Done. And then execute him. Woo! Okay. Interesting. Ha! Remember the name of the game. XCOM. Got it. Only took me 15 minutes. Um... I don't see any other loot. Wait, wait, that's a lie. Oh, they all move. That's kind of cool. Nothing. Okay, I don't see anything else. End mission. Alright, confirm. Uh, MVP plus two. <laughs> so I get to pick the MVP? Um, sure. Okay. Very confused about that. Very interesting. Very interesting. All right. Well, this looks like an open world to some extent XCOM, which I think is really badass. Let me know if you guys would like to see more of it. You can pick this up on Steam right now. It's in early access. Hang on. Let me pull it up with my phone. I want to say... Say anything actually because I'll be like, Oh, I, I thought it was 20 bucks. It's actually 40 bucks, and I'll work a dick. 
and I'm real professional by uh, having looked this up before I got to the end of my uh, my little setup. There we go. And in our search tag, it's Dreadlands. Dread. Dreadlands. There we go. 1999. That's what I thought. 1999. Pretty decent price. Um, they are still working on it. It is early access, so you know if that's one of your things that you uh, you're not a huge fan of, you might want to wait a little while. But uh, so far, it, it shows a pretty good promise. I like the first uh, what 30, 45 minutes of it so far. It looks like it could be a hoot, and it's been a while since I played a good XCOM game. So. Uh, if we decide to go on with this, let me know which character, if you're a sub, that you would like your uh, your name to be on. And if we have uh, multiple people that want the same character, then I get to pick. So, let me know what you think in the comment section below. There will also be a link to the game in the uh, description if you want to check it out there. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, slap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Hello everyone! I'm so sorry that this video is delayed. Um, this is the new credits in the new editor, DaVinci Resolve, which I am very thankful that uh, Funaway Guy on uh, Twitter recommended. Um, anyways, let's get to the credits. These are the people who have chosen to financially support the channel, and I really appreciate that. Uh, I know it's the apocalypse, so uh, it, it's even more appreciated. Um, before I read this list, do keep in mind, if you are in any financial trouble at all or hurting, please don't support me. Only support me if you can financially do so and if your family is taken care of because I'm good. I have a job right now. Everything's fine. I am not suffering or in dire need of money. All of this is just money I can then use to throw into video games and equipment for me and Kat. Um, and it is something that we are very appreciative of, but it is not something that we are in dire need of. So only do it if you want to support the channel and you want to support the company content anyways alex nice joker 18 months cole walker 18 months dagger cook 17 months 22 kelvin 15 months i think you changed your name sir ronald weasley 24 14 months x legion 14 months star wars john josh smith i always call you john sorry nine months xerxes break 59 eight months chandler porter eight months coaster eight months alex mcguani seven months and oakley thomas tucker two months i want to thank all of you guys so very much for the support also i am using a new editor so please 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 let me know if something is off let me know in the comment section below that being said uh, let me know what you guys think about the new series, and I'll see you guys next time.